Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we are going to learn how to crochet this little scrubby here with all its curly ends and everything. So I made one here in the red and the gray, and then I also made it in the cotton scrubby yarn. There we go. So I would actually put this, if you're a very beginner, I would not suggest doing using these yarns um, to complete this pattern. You can always do the same pattern and create a scrubby out of a, just a cotton yarn. Um, it's just, it's, sometimes it's very hard to see the stitches with these eyelash yarns. And even with the cotton scrubby, it can be very difficult to see the stitch. I actually had more problem with the cotton one than I did with the eyelash one. So um, just a heads up, if you plan on using this type of yarn, I would put this at more of an intermediate level than I would at a beginner level. Um, with So for this, I am using Yarn Bee Scrubology. This is a yarn that's available exclusively at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I do like this. It's very similar to the Red Heart Scrubby yarn. So you could probably substitute it for that and do the same exact thing. In fact, you can use whatever yarn you want. Um, the pattern will get you the same effect. Um, I just really like it with the scrubby yarn with the, the, the little edges and everything. So I also use the cotton. This is also Yarn B Scrubology. This is Scrubology Cotton and this is Scrubology 2.0. They do have another Scrubology yarn that's, instead of it being this way, it's more like a a nylon, which I will do a different type of scrubby with that. But you can, if you have that yarn, then you are, and I don't have an example of it here, but you are welcome to use that. Use the same exact stitch pattern on this, and uh, and it'll have the same effect, and I think be just as effective as a scrubby. Um, you also want to have a scissors and a yarn needle here, um, a darning needle. So. And I am using a 5.5, or excuse me, a 5.0 or H hook, a 5.0 millimeter or H hook. Um, that is what this yarn, the Yarn B Scrubology 2.0 recommends for this yarn. And I do find that it does work really well for me. Um, you can use whatever yarn you you like and what and just make sure that you use the corresponding hook to go with that yarn and if you do like my hooks which these are the clover armor hooks or my um, needles that i have here then you will find them linked down below it is affiliate links but if you enjoy them or would like to try them out they are linked down below Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Go ahead and make your, I'm gonna pull out a little bit extra here. Make your slip knot. I try to make my tail relatively small. We don't have to do too much threading with this because this um, type of yarn, it really doesn't want to unravel once you get it, you know, work together. Go ahead and loosely chain four stitches or four chain, two, three, four. Okay, so you have a chain link, of chain, a you know, foundation chain, or fa you're about to make it a ring, but it chains, four chains. Then put your hook back through the last, um, the last, the very first chain that you made, and then pull through connecting the two ends to make a circle, which it's hard to see the circle with all that eyelash work. This is why I say this is not a beginner yarn. Um, so I would not suggest using this yarn if you are a beginner. Um, so there is your first round. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work eight double crochet into this circle. You don't have to go into the stitches it's going into inside the circle. So this one, you gotta kind of feel for it to get to the center of the circle. I pulled this apart, so I made it right there. And 
do eight double crochet. Now be careful, sometimes this yarn does want to get stubborn and um, and then you end up pulling through all of the loops and making a half double crochet. So you want to make sure that you're doing eight double crochet around and go ahead and work your tail end as you're going around. Two. Three. And I will tell you this pattern's very forgiving if you end up with six double crochet. I, I, I like eight because it helps really close in this middle right here so you don't have a big gaping hole there. Um, so we have one, two, three, and I'm not counting the um, the first chain so because I'm going to end up going over that. So it's eight double crochet plus the chain, so a total of nine stitches. Seven. Eight. Seven. Okay, so that is our first round. And um, so there you go. You can see the stitches somewhat here on the edges with the um, the twine that's going straight through the whole thing the eyelashes are coming off of. So you can see that. Uh, what you wanna do here is go ahead and join, find your, um, and, and it, it, you know, if you have a problem locating this in, in regular, uh, regular yarn, then you wanna go ahead and mark your, before you leave your chain, mark it with a um, stitch marker or a safety pin or a paper clip. But um, go ahead and find your chain, which mine is right here. And you know, and even if you're not perfect, <laughs> to be honest with you, this is a very forgiving um, yarn to, to lose mistakes in. But go through your chain and then pull through and pull through again your single loop so you are pulling these two together okay so now what we're going to do is go through each loop all the way around so it's eight loops and we're going to put three double crochet so at the end of this row you should have 24 stitches Three. That's in the first stitch. Then, like I said, not easy to find the stitches. One. two, three, so you should have six double crochet right now on this second row. One, two, three. Okay, and now you should have nine double crochet on the second row. I am going to go ahead and continue on to the end and we will meet back up then. Okay, I'm doing my last stitch right now. And um, like I said, at the end of this row, you should have 24 stitches. Honestly, you don't have to count them. Um, what you want to do is you want to have just a big bunch of stitches in here and um, have no spacing. And even if you got three extra because you put them in that false, 
um, stitch right before the chain, which I like to do sometimes whenever I'm creating these, um, then that's okay too. Uh, really what it is is the more stitches that you have crammed in here, the more you're gonna get more of an effect like this you're gonna get when you do the second row. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and find if I can, because these crazy eyelashes on this yarn. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a slip stitch. to close the round. Right now I'm gonna chain three and then I'm gonna do the same thing. Three stitches in each stitch all the way around, okay? If you end up with four in some or you end up with three in that false stitch, that's okay. It's just gonna give you a little bit more of this curl that's going on, which is, I think, awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna go right here. So that's, cause I have that double crochet. So one, I mean, I have that chain. One, two, so I'm doing two in the same stitch that the chain is coming out of. And then I'm gonna do three into the next stitch. One, two, three. All right, so let's find the stitch. And you can kind of see them here. If you, you can see the, like I said, you can see the twine going around. So you can see your stitches that way. It's just a little hard to feel them sometimes, but this is a way for you can kind of, so you can see your stitches as you're going around. All right, so let's go ahead and continue this around. Put three stitches in each, uh, three stitches in each of the stitches below. So you wanna do three double crochet in each of the double crochet below. And then we will meet up again at the end. Here, putting in my last three stitches, my last three double crochet. And you see how, as you went through this row, how it got real curled up there. Um, yeah, and if we did another row with the three double crochet, we'd get even curlier, but this is your very last row. So we're just going to come over here, find my chain, I'm actually going to go into the first stitch so I can kind of close it a little bit tighter and then slip stitch and you want to snip off your yarn, pull it tight and now on the bottom here if you were going over it as you were doing it you can just snip the bottom, right? And then here, now the good thing about this, this yarn here is um, that it doesn't want to unravel. It wants to stay together because of the eyelashes. And so you don't need to make sure you run your yarn through three times. Now, I'm a little anal attentive. <laughs> I will be the first to admit. And I do actually run it through twice. Um, that's just my personal preference. It actually is not necessary for this yarn. You can run it through once and it'll be locked in because just the nature of this yarn, it does not want to unravel. Um, and, but if you do run it through, again, I made this mistake the first time I did this, make sure that you're going over one of the stitches so that you don't just run back through and take out what you just did, which I've done that before. Um, especially with this yarn. So I just want to be careful of that. I'm going to take this back through one more time. Put my thread through the eye hole here. 
while I'm doing this, um, I, I just wanted to say if you find this, you found this tutorial helpful, you enjoyed making these, um, whether you made them in the same scrubby yarn or you made it in cotton um, or, you know, this cotton scrubby yarn or just regular plain cotton um, and, and you liked how it turned out, then please feel free to leave me a like on this video and subscribe for future videos. Right now, I am sending out weekly, I'm doing um, a stitch study and um, the next one that I'm going to be putting out is going to be for the double crochet. Um, so, and we'll get into more complicated stitches as we move on. We started with a single stitch, we just did the half double crochet, and then we're going to be going on to do the double crochet, and we'll start combining those after we do the triple or the treble. Um, and these are all U.S. terms. Uh, so feel free to check that out. And as I make more patterns, I will add the tutorials to this channel. Um, that will not be as consistent. That'll probably be maybe once a month, maybe twice monthly, but you can count on once a week seeing the, um, the stitch studies coming out. And, uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions on patterns that you'd like, something you would like to see or a way that, you know, I can do these videos even better, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your feedback and thank you so much. You guys have a great day.